Moscow is blaming soldiers' use of banned phones for allowing the enemy to locate the target in one of the bloodiest attacks in the nearly year-long war in Ukraine. Russia's defense ministry admits 89 of its soldiers died when Ukraine hit a college for conscripts in the occupied Donetsk area shortly after midnight on New Year's Day. While the number of people killed is unverified, it's the largest death toll acknowledged by Russia in the war. Kyiv claims the figure is far higher. President Vladimir Zelensky warns Russia will respond. Moscow has released these images of what it says are strikes in Kramatorsk. The ministry spokesperson says 120 Ukrainian soldiers were killed in the attack. A sight that's becoming all too common in the occupied West Bank. Hundreds of mourners gather for the funerals of two Palestinians. One of them was shot in the chest several times during confrontations with Israeli forces on Monday after they entered the village of Kofordan and demolished two homes. The houses belong to the families of two Palestinian men who were killed in September while carrying out an attack at a checkpoint. An Israeli soldier was killed. The Palestinian Health Ministry says several Palestinians were injured in the latest crossfire. The Israeli military says its troops came under heavy fire and fought back. Israel's recently appointed security minister has visited the compound housing the Al-Aqsa Mosque in occupied East Jerusalem, a move Palestinians describe as provocative. Itamar Ben-Gavir was surrounded by security forces as he toured the site, which has religious significance for both Muslims and Jews. Israel's former prime minister, Yair Lapid, had warned such a visit will put lives in danger. Clouds of smoke billowing from a prison in Juarez, Mexico, as police hunt for at least 25 inmates who escaped. The violent attack leaving 10 guards and seven inmates dead. According to officials, early Sunday, several armored vehicles run by the Sinaloa cartel arrived at the jail and gunmen opened fire on the guards just over eight miles from the El Paso border. Tonight, authorities announcing an immigration crisis in the Florida Keys. Hundreds of migrants making landfall in the chain of islands. Over the weekend, cell phone video taken by a Telemundo reporter capturing a desperate attempt to reach the mainland. In the last few days, authorities say an estimated 500 migrants have arrived along the Florida Keys. Customs and Border Protection reporting a 400% increase of migrant encounters in the Miami sector since October 1st. Boats and debris now scattered along the beaches. Twenty-eight civilians were found dead on New Year's Eve in Nuna Town in northwestern Burkina Faso, the government said. Rights group The Collective Against Impunity and Stigmatization of Communities alleged on Tuesday that the predominantly Fulani and Muslim victims were murdered by volunteer militia groups supporting the army. Extremist groups linked to Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State group have killed thousands and displaced nearly two million people in Burkina Faso over the past seven years. In an attempt to stem jihadi violence, the government recruited tens of thousands of civilian volunteers to fight alongside the army. Two suicide car bombers killed at least 10 people early Wednesday when they targeted a military facility in central Somalia. The police officials said the vehicles exploded in the neighborhood full of civilians. The attack occurred in the Mahas district of Hiran region after the dawn prayer. According to witnesses, several people were wounded in the attack, including soldiers and journalists who were embedded with them. Al-Shabaab terrorist group claimed responsibility. <laughs> 